good morning, and uh, thank you so much for Mighty for this uh, opportunity. Uh, as we know, uh, loop quantum gravity is one of the theory which tried to uh, quantize uh, the geometry of space-time, and uh, we uh, start by, I mean, uh, the, cano uh, the Dirac's canonical uh, quantization, and uh, for this reason, we need uh, to build up the classical Poisson bracket. And first, we started uh, last week's by the uh, continuous uh, variable, and after that, we move or we oblige to define the new variables in terms of the holonomy. And yesterday we have seen also the flux. So uh, here we, uh, I mean, uh, we interest about the graphs and uh, we should define these two variables for each edges. So uh, we have seen the holonomy and uh, yesterday also we have seen the concept of the, uh, the flux. And for example, if we have a parallel transport along uh, the path gamma, and we should also uh, define another dual path. So imagine, <clears throat> imagine if we take a vector here, and this vector we do parallel transport from here, and back to the path, I'm sorry, here, to the path gamma, I mean started from gamma uh, star s to gamma zero. So we can write this parallel transport or the, it's of this element. So, um, yes, with this uh, tangent vector multiplied by the inverse of the holonomy ds. But because there is many possibilities that this also vector transport for I mean, all the different path we need to integrate over all this. And this is give the flux along the um, path gamma. So uh, as we know that this is its a valued object on uh, SU2, so we have just a quick stuff. So we, this is contract by these things. And also we have another definition in terms of the conjugate elements of uh, the, the gauge uh, connection. So B, G. So yesterday also we have seen that uh, we need to construct from, I mean, this expression, uh, uh, a Poisson bracket between H and E, and H and H, and E and H. I'm sorry, E and E. Which is formed uh, a closed algebra, and because this is, it's look like an ugly expression, uh, we simplified and uh, we uh, find that it's related to, uh, I mean, we move from uh, the spinor uh, spinoral, um, uh, 
representation of SU2 to uh, the vectorial uh, presentation of the rotation, and after that we plug the, um, I mean the expression in, and we compute this Poisson bracket, and we find it just simply, which is equal to um, H here if we put like M and And for this one, along the path gamma, this is obvious equal to zero because we have H is dependent on the gauge connection and we know that the Poisson bracket of the gauge connection is equal to zero. And uh, using the Jacobi uh, identity for computing the third one, we just use the Jacobi identity and we find it as JK L of So to summarize, uh, we uh, construct a closed algebra and this closed algebra is uh, for one edge, and next we go to the quantization. So uh, we build up a Hilbert space for each edge, now for each graph, and uh, if we go to the quantum, um, the continuum dynamical uh, Hilbert space, just we uh, collect all the uh, individual uh, Hilbert space for uh, for the each graphs, and we do uh, the. Uh, the projection limit. So now we go from this, I mean, for just to finish. So we have a loop quantum gravity, I, I mean, um, edges, and we associate for each edge these two new variables. And for the next, we uh, go to direct the quantization from the isomorphism between the classical Poisson bracket to the anti-commutation relation using the definition of uh, these two variables in terms of operators. Thank you so much. Thanks.